So here I am at Community Station, and uh, after months of not really doing much at all in Voxelia, for some reason I got the urge to add a uh, add a new line to the, to the stations. Uh, already numerous lines. There's probably about ten ten lines, and this is my eleventh. And so that's my sculpture, uh, linked Boromian rings or whatever, and. Uh, this is just a little tour of, of uh, places we usually don't see in Voxelia. Over there is the nature preserve. More interesting is the uh, the building over there, sort of floating. There's some new uh, tori here, or whatever, which are kind of cool. They lead to the obsidian tower. And over here is the cool thing that I've added. It's the that's the dome, which is very cool, but you've probably seen that before. But the uh, the amusing thing that I've added is basically this pile of gravel, which uh, they're all held up basically by torches and gravel. If you pulled out the torch at the bottom, all the gravel collapses. So now we're getting to a, uh, a sort of new area. The th reason I wanted to make this tour actually was the biomes. I mean, check out the colors. The colors are really interesting, how they vary very uh, very vivid. So anyway, this is just a little commuter station, and we'll continue on from here. And so anyway, yeah, I just thought those biomes were really, really cool. Um, this is a new jungle, uh, jungle tree that I grew there. It came out really well. I lucked out. Um, over there is a little uh, tree farm, or not tree farm, uh, melon and pumpkin farm. And then now we're getting to the Wild West. And in the Wild West, you uh, you basically can do whatever you want. And the uh, um, in other words, you can spawn whatever you want. We have you know God commands. In uh, over here, you're supposed to just you know build it yourself, not spawn it yourself, uh, or just spawn and cheat. But over here, you can do whatever crazy stuff you want. So like for example, you can see the uh, beginnings of the word Voxelia that someone made out of a bunch of different materials. P Min made out. So now we're traveling up to 255. We're at altitude 255 right now. And uh, it's pretty crazy up here. When you get up to this high altitude, you can see, you know, things get kind of strange. So let's see, one thing I wanted to do while I was up here is uh, I finished this platform last night, and what I wanted to do was add a, uh, a waterfall on that side, and hopefully that won't destroy too much. I didn't really check where the waterfall would fall. And the other thing I want to do here is take the take the plunge, which I made this pool. I might or might not die. I honestly don't know. I've never done this before. So here we go. I'm going to try to just hit it and hope we did it in the middle and did it right. Yes! Oh! I didn't take much damage at all. So that was a fall of about, I don't know, 170, 180 or something like that. And uh, went into this pool that basically um, is three deep. And you saw I took half a heart of damage. Um, and what I've done is put at the bottom of it, let me just go through it again. I put at the bottom of it a bunch of gates, and having these gates open means that um, you flop, you go right through them. Water can't flow by open gates, but but you can flow by them, as it were. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's my little pool. That's my little safety pool. And uh, shoot, it worked. Oh yeah, here comes the water. So yeah, here's the water um, that I put up there. And uh, good, it doesn't look like it's destroying too much of the world. So uh, I'll leave that place. That's it. Just thought I'd show that little tour. Bye now.